country, right. over 7,000 fire, totally fire portable. stations. Right, so now it's available for you. It's easier, it's so simple. When you think about a fire extinguisher, they can be bigger, they can be complicated, you have to break the tab and then pull the pin and then Read figure the directions. it out. Here, yeah, there's, no. you have at least seven different things at home that have the exact same thing where you're just gonna push and that. get that spray just like that. Fight the fire from a distance, extinguish, and now look at this, I can take this and now I'm cooling the surface, which is so important. Yeah. So not only is this great for fighting those fires that can happen in the house, but now you have something that's portable, easy to use mm -hmm. when you're doing a campfire, when you're grilling outside, I'll when you're even doing your you. fire pit in the backyard right. and you wanna be safe, you wanna put it out as you go in the house, tailgating, yeah. you know, maybe for the kids who are going away to college for the first time, and they're gonna be microwaving, you know, boxes mm -hmm. of pizza, mm -hmm. just to have something right nearby that's this easy. And remember, if you spray this indoors, you can wipe it with water and a rag, it's not gonna cause damage because yeah. it's water-based, it's non-toxic. And so what types of fires are we talking about? I know there's different classes. Right, different class A types. and class B. Those are most of the fires around the house that you're going to you know, experience. Okay. But one of the things that we get a lot of questions about are going to be about grease fires. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting, the grease fire, no matter what you know, method you use to fight that grease fire, you know that it has a flare up and oh you know that water and oil don't mix. Right. But here's what's great about this. And I've watched Ron, the inventor of FireAid, do this demonstration where you immediately do have a flare up, but because of the formula fire aid, it starts to cool the surface of that grease immediately and it will extinguish that fire. It but there's that initial me of like flare up. a fire blanket. Just yeah. the way that it quickly tackles it and then covers it and cools things right. down. And if it's easy to grab, easy to store, and easy to use, guess what? You're much more likely to use it and in a timely manner. Right. You know? And then there's no mess. There's the, the cleanup is so much easier in a situation like a grease fire in the house. But one in the one in that kitchen is great, one in a laundry yeah. room. You know, right now the winter time here's what I think about that can be you know an issue those portable heaters that we're using because mm. it's cold all over the place yeah. having something like this nearby clothing or anything can fall on those heaters and potentially cause a fire this is great to have we got one more still you going right it? there you want to hit that I can one? do it okay so yeah. and I don't have to shake up the can I don't no. have to do anything crazy exactly it's that normal just, just one push finger push that you use yep so you can start for, look at that one spray and I can get close now that it's out and really cool things down cool which the is surface that's too. what's so important that you can cool that surface wow. on contact it's excellent so even you know again it's super important for safety of your home but think about going right. at tailgates when we get back to football season yeah. you're tailgating you can cool that grill and pop it in the back of the car in seconds here's a great one same thing you're outside you're enjoying that fire pit but if it's time to go indoors mm -hmm. nothing could burn you don't all want night to leave exactly embers that are hot now this isn't just a one and done product right i mean it's a big 30 ounce can right so this this has a shelf life you know because i'm hoping you're not going to have to use this but you're talking about five years shelf life which okay. is great and it has an indicator on there. This is the brand new 30 ounce can and the first time that we've had this indicator that lets you know that you know where it is in terms of being full or empty. Okay. There's a little indicator that it's going to move from green towards the red as you start to use that can. But when you use it once and you just use it for a little bit, you still have the rest to use, so wow. you don't have to use a little bit and then yes. throw it away, you're set to go. I love that we have these available as a single now. That's fairly new to the game. Typically we had three packs and more. Right. So if you just need the one or you're just wanting to try it out, I highly recommend you do it. Read the reviews. You always have 30 days to try everything, but it's kind of one of those things we hope you never have to use. <laughs> but great for the practical fire pits we're talking about. If you're grilling, if you're tailgating, whatever the case is it's easy to use it's safe and effective firefighters are using this as right. well exactly. and it's safe for the, your skin and the environment because it's non-toxic which is nice it is yeah so here's something I want to show everyone we're talking about a water-based formula so okay. you're thinking you know is that going to do the best job on many different fires and things like that so I've got this flare going right here and I want you to see this put oh, that yeah. flare in that water. They're designed to stay. Yeah, exactly, in the weather Working. and things like that. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, so we can show two things, how it's gonna work on something like this where water didn't. But then also, so I want you to spray right into that flare. Okay. And if it gets on my see hand, that's my, not a problem. Let me see how good my aim is. <laughs> exactly, I there should grab one as well. So there you see, go. Yeah, I did get it on your yeah, hands. Now I'm gonna, which is not a problem. And I'm gonna cool the surface again. So you put it out like we did with the fire. I'm gonna cool that surface to make sure that we got everything cool in there. But again, that's on my hand, yeah. it's not a problem. I've got a rag right here that I can use. I'm just gonna wipe that off. Again, it's, it is water-based, it's non-toxic, it's going to do a great job. But the comparison there, when you saw 
in water right. wouldn't put out that flare. But this formula that wow. was developed by Ron is just amazing. And that's why 7,000 fire stations are using this military. I tell you, Ron is all over the world. It is pretty cool. He's, he he's spreading the word of fire aid yeah. because everyone can use this to be safe in a fire. But I love it that you can have it at home, simple and easy to use. And you can use it for the recreational areas. Or look at this. You're going to build a fire in your fireplace. Yeah. You're going to put the fire screen up there. Everything's great. But why not feel even better, especially I see there's a Christmas tree oh, in that yeah. shop. Yep. Why not just have the can of fire aid standing by? If there's kids in the house, if there's pets, the dog could do something, mm -hmm. knock that around and knock down something. You have the fire aid there so you can feel better about that. And I love that. You've never really thought about doing that with a fire extinguisher before. No. They're hard to use. You they're don't remember. Clunky, they're big. Yeah. I don't even know. I got to check. where Ours is under the sink somewhere. I don't know how long it's been. I've never had to use it. I don't really know how to use it. I feel like right. it would take me some time to find the pin, pull it. Re okay, what do I do? Where do I aim? And then the mess it leaves behind. And what I love about this is this is what professionals use, but now it's available for us in the home, not only to extinguish the fires, but cool the surfaces too exactly because that's really really important on top without of all the mess or the really yeah. difficult cleanup because if you have to use it in the house even if it was near that fireplace you're just going to be able to wipe it up paper towels a rag whatever and it, it's going to be easy to do and it is going to be non-toxic water-based it is so simple to use and remember i have them right now i have fire aid in the laundry room because mm -hmm. we have the washer dryer that's a good place to have one i have one in the garage i have one in my car which yeah. is also nice especially if you're doing you know road trips and and you're camping with the yeah. family or you have an RV and you're doing those kind of things, why not have it with you? It is so easy and so convenient. And then we also have one in the kitchen. And I explained earlier, the biggest question we get is about those grease mm -hmm. fires. So with a grease fire, if you spray this on the grease fire, you're going to have an initial flare up. Yeah. But then what happens, especially if grease is in a frying pan, this is the demonstration that I, that I witnessed. It was, it's amazing. The grease, you have the grease in that frying pan. What happens is that initial flare up, but then this fire aid coats that entire surface of that grease, whatever oil that's oh. in that frying pan, cools the surface, the fire's out, and you're set to Man. go. Cools everything around and on that fire. And it's this amazing. has a five-year shelf life, a five-year warranty, and one of our producers just made a great point. He said, do you even remember when you bought your fire extinguisher that you do currently? I mean, how long has it been? And uh, many of those, those pressurized... <laughs> can you access it easily? You have to have them checked yearly. Yes, you so, don't have to do that with this. Right, it'll, right. it'll last five years without that, and I... None of us have done that with our fire extinguishers, no. right? You're thinking, I mean, when was that? When did do I put you really that under do the that? sink? Yeah. And having multiples around the house and being able to feel comfortable, hey, why don't I just take it out and put yeah. out the fire pit? We had a great night. We're going to head in mm -hmm. or we're leaving that campfire. We want to make sure everything's safe. This is the way yeah. to do it. You know what I love about this, too? It's a familiar setup, right? I mean, we're all familiar with aerosol-type spray bottles or spray right. cans. So let's say, God forbid, something happens. Everybody's in a panic. Maybe your teenager has to grab it and use it. Are they going to know how to use a regular fire extinguisher? Or right. will they see this? And this is familiar. This is easy. I'm just going to push the button and aim at the flames. I mean, that's some peace of mind for me that everybody can use it. You don't need a lot of strength. Right, right. You're not picking up a heavy no, piece not of at equipment. All. I mean, it's great. And if you've never We're picked show it up you again. and if you've never tried it, you're going to know how to use it because it looks just like, yeah. you know what I think it looks closest to me? I mean, I'm not using a lot of hairspray these days, but <laughs> it's the bug spray. We're yep. using bug yep. spray. You're using it around the, you know, inside of your house or outside. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of. If you can spray the bug spray, you're going to be using this it's no problem big 30 yep. ounce can that you're getting you keep using it until it's empty it's not a one-time thing where now it's done and i gotta put it away and we'll show you how to use it yeah okay well, i'm just gonna pick one sure okay <laughs> i'm gonna go for the middle it's out now i can get closer and really cool things down so if this right. is like my charcoal grill when we were in college yeah. my husband we were tailgating somebody didn't put them out completely burns all the way up his leg. He didn't realize, he didn't know they right. weren't cooled yet. Probably not the smartest thing to do. To it, exactly. Let your skin touch it, but it happens. I mean, so the fact that you're gonna put it out and cool it down yeah. is really important. And you can get closer. Oh, I missed that one spot right there. Yep. Look at that. Instantly falls onto out the tarp. and cooled. It is fantastic. Is so, idea. so simple to use. And remember, this is a formula that was developed for those, for the military and for those yeah. firemen and professional firefighters. And now you can have it at home, non-toxic, water-based, clean up simple, and most this. importantly, simple use and extremely effective it's on so those fires. fast. 
it's so that easy awesome. to do. Non-toxic, water-based. It's fine if it gets on your skin. It's easy to clean up, unlike when you're spraying all that foam from your regular extinguishers. Look, if you don't have this, you should have a regular fire extinguisher. Right. You should always protect yourself. I just love the idea of this being simple, easy to hold, easy to use, easy to store if you don't have a ton of space. Maybe it is. You mentioned college-age students. If you live in an apartment or a condo, it's important to have these things. And this is a way you're more likely to have it and to know how to use it if you needed it. Absolutely. I mean, especially, I love this example of being at home, but being safe at all times. It's right there. You can just pick it up, put it yeah. next to that fireplace. Yeah. Why not? I wanted to show you this again. I've got this road flare. The water won't put it out, but this, which is a water-based formula, is going to put that 